Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to my new YouTube channel, Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself for Divine in the Flesh, where your PTSDs, your pain, traumas, suffering, and dramas are golden gateways to waking up and staying awake, where we learn to navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience in this perception-managed reality, where our seven senses and our sensual sensorial world have been squished and dumbed down into the limitations of five cents reality. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Comment and share. I upload videos Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Maria West, and I am your hostess of the highest, here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider still. In today's video, I am broaching the hot topic, pressing that hot button of S-E-X. But first, I want you all to get situated in your comfy places so that I can lead you all into a very anchored, centered, meditative, and protective space, pre-paved to encapsulate and sequester and clear out any sexual entity fuckery as we wrestle this loaded topic to its foundational ground, fertile for healing and bringing about the gifts and qualities of clarity and conscious awareness. So as per usual, light a candle or two, get yourself situated into your cozy, comfy places with some pillows and blankets, have your water or tea ready, tissues, your journals and pens close by. So close your eyes, my loves, and let's all receive a deep breath in and let it out, allowing yourselves to fully arrive and land right here, right now, wherever you're here and you're right now happen to be as you are. Nothing for you to do or change. Just allow your breath to fill your body with life force, pranic energy of all colors. Trusting your body to receive the colors that it needs to move into greater clarity, greater awareness, a greater sense of relaxation. That's it. Nice and easy. Inhaling and exhaling. Moving in your own timing, in your own way. Your own rhythm. On a huge inhale, I want you to bring your palms together pressing them into each other in front of the middle of your chest. And on an exhale, I want you to feel your body relax and let go, dropping your awareness from your mind, your head, into your body, noticing any bodily sensations, nice and easy, breathing in, and out, knowing that you are love, breathing in that love, breathing out that love. Nice and easy, my loves, in your own way, your own rhythm. Notice any bodily sensations, any thoughts, allowing them to come and go. On a huge inhale, move your palms still in a namaste or prayer position or gratitude position in front of your heart and move your palms so that you move them just in front of the most sensitive part of your heart. Trust that you know what
where this sensitive part is. Trust in your knowing, even if you feel like you've no idea what you're doing. Trusting your guidance, your intuition, trusting your body. This sensitivity that you are feeling is your closure to love. So just notice it. Allowing this closure is just based on fear. Allowing your heart to naturally relax, let it open and radiate the love that you are and always have been. Consider that any pain in your heart or heartache is about your mind telling your body to close to love, to close to connection, to deny your natural state of being love. And in this natural state of love, the natural state of our hearts is open. Closure of our hearts is unnatural. And that's why it's painful. Notice your heart opening. Feel into your heart opening naturally. Feel the glorious relief to be as you are, an expression of divine love. For you are divine in the flesh, love in a body. Keep breathing, my beloveds. Allow yourselves to revel in the awareness that you are experiencing. Magnify your awareness and linger in the sweetness of being aware. Nothing for you to do except be that awareness. Whatever is happening for you, allow it to be as it is. Nothing for you to do except be and witness. Nothing for you to change. Allowing any thoughts or feelings or sensations to come and go like a breeze. Just noticing them. Noticing your breath and its natural rhythm. Noticing the sensations in your body. This miraculous and beautiful temple of you as waking god or waking goddess. Expressing as man or woman. Expressing as divine in the flesh. Love in a body. Breathing deeply. Resting and abiding in this profound silence and stillness. Let us co-create a grid of electric violet light surrounding us in all directions over the curvature of our planet, setting the intention that all energies and entities, tribal and matrix system realities alike, including all inter, intra, extra dimensional portals and doorways that may have opened, blocking and interfering with our erotic natures to be instantly dissolved and or return to their sources. Knowing and embodying our divinity of being source, God, God is all that is. Infinite loving awareness and consciousness, ever being, ever evolving, ever becoming, having a human experience. All for the highest good, the deepest possible truth, the innermost clarity and peace, and most profound of healing. So that we may receive this information with clarity and openness and discern what the absolute truth is. And so it is. Aho, Jaima, Amen. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes slowly. And as you readjust and look around you, wherever you are, I invite you to pull in your consciousness through your sense of sight, your eyes and what you see into the middle of your head. And notice the soft, focused nature of what you are seeing. And if you want, you can gently play with this, moving back and forth 
from this heightened awareness reality that you have just experienced in this brief meditation to normal reality and go back and forth and check it out for yourselves. The difference. This is a great way to remain still whilst interfacing with the outside world and maintaining a deep relationship to the silence and source within so as to not get caught up in the pendulum swing of the chaos of conventional reality. You know the status quo, that normal reality of one thing after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, or perhaps sleepwalking through life on autopilot like a zombie, a robot, a talking head, like those head-bobbing bobbing car ornaments folks place at the back of their windows in their cars, Right? One of the main reasons to practice regular meditation, even if it's just for five minutes, is to be better able to stay still and aligned and vertical and to not lose one's proverbial shit amidst times when we are highly reactive and identified by outer circumstances or by the world at large. Intense public altercations happening in real time crazy emotional crowds of mob consensus reality mentality, traffic, the stresses of trying to keep up with the endless lists of things to do for ourselves, our families. Utilizing meditation allows us to practice the art of dialing things down, the art of de-escalation, calming consciously our nervous systems so that we can contain our energies and not lose power especially when the unexpected happens, when shit hits the fan and life happens. Being spiritually awake, a.k.a. woke, (laughs) being present, being enlightened, is not about constantly manifesting an easily perfect fucking life, as in the perfect political party that's oh so, you know, politically correct. It's not about having drama-free, no harsh feelings ever again with perfect money, the perfect relationship with the perfect man or woman or whatever, with perfect hot squirty sex, the perfect career or an awesome house, not to forget to mention perfect hair, the perfect body with the perfect cellulite free ass, although I can't teach you what you need to do to actually achieve that if you really, 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 really want that, but you won't like it though, okay? The real deal woke requires that you not avoid one thing in your life, not one fucking thing. And this includes those tricky confrontational conversations most of us oh so avoid. Being truly awake requires that you notice what you are up to when you are resisting sensation, when you are in the process of checking out, going unconscious, Going into autopilot zombie nation, you know what I mean. It requires that we feel everything there is about being in a physical body, experiencing the full spectrum and bandwidth of human experience, the extremes and everything in between and beyond, and engaging all seven of our senses, sight, smell, sound, hearing and listening, taste, touch, Our intuition, the master key to enslaving all of humanity from the powers that want to be, and our seventh sense, which is our innate generosity and care, our ability to receive the divine feminine principle and our ability to gift give the divine masculine principle. Alrighty then. So in today's video, I am specifically addressing my declaration. We are all programmed to be sex slaves. Let me say it again. We are all programmed to be sex slaves. Yep, you heard that right in plain English, and you are free to be as offended by that as you wish. But you know and feel in yourselves that what I'm telling you is the undeniable absolute truth. What else could be a better topic other than sex that is vaster and total in its scope for the powers that want to be to simply apply their evil divide and conquer agendas for maximum exploitation. 
where they can utilize their tools of political correctness and the mind control tactics of the guerrilla style emotional trigger triggering combat of weaponized woundology and then merely sit back and watch the utter chaos, blood and gore and compelled outrage of the victimized masses turning on one another and culling each other, right? It's happening. It happens every single day. Sex is the lowest common denominator where gender and religion and race and class and skin color and education and free speech and freedom of the press and politics and our military prowess or lack thereof and our unalienable rights can be twisted into one sweeping topic that encompasses every fucked up notion and more as it relates to our human nature. In this perception managed reality, Human nature, in my opinion, is neither good nor bad, but utterly programmable. So I'd say that the topic of sex lends itself to fuck us over in every which way. It is the basis common denominator, even baser than money and power. Sex is multifaceted and fuels money and power and stands on its own. And everybody wants it or doesn't want it. Every one of us is programmed from the time we are conceived to be sex slaves through our tribal lineages, including DNA hand-me-downs from our mothers and fathers. Our mothers and fathers, regardless of whether or not they raise us, are our first interfaces with the actual physical expressions of the divine feminine and divine masculine essences of female and male. We inherit all the collective attitudes and beliefs from our mothers and fathers and all their ancestors regarding what it is to be a man or woman. And so our sex enslavement begins ever so subtly. Most of us would not relate to being actual sex slaves because we're not in the throes of being trafficked or drugged, handcuffed, shackled, tied to a soiled bed, tied to a tree, or dolled up to attend a sex party, only to, under pain of torture or death, sexually service one fucking predator after another after another after another until the next and the next and the next while hours turn into days, then turn into weeks, then months, then years, do ponder about this typical innocent and seemingly innocuous westernized cultural mind control program that already sets up the gender divide. Blue booties, pink booties, rainbow booties, and now transgender booties. And a baby's birth hasn't even occurred. In truth, Unless we are lucky enough to be blessed with parents who are awake and have thoroughly and consciously excavated and dissolved their own mind-controlled tribal programmings regarding sexuality and what defines the feminine and masculine, man and woman, male and female, doing and being, suffering and enjoying, we are all born into pre-programmed mind control and social engineering that is not only confusing and insidious, but is mostly automatically and collectively limiting and running most humans and their sexuality unchecked, unchallenged, and unquestioned. And then we pass it all onto our children. In order to fully wake up to the truth of who and what we are as infinite loving awareness and consciousness having a human experience, we are required to evolve from victim to victorious. And it is up to each one of us to unravel the distorted views and beliefs regarding men and women and sexuality by doing the great inner work. But most folks will never, ever do this and default to automated unconsciousness around all aspects of living and loving. As a result of this default, Sexuality is distorted and twisted around such that we try to control it or avoid it, repress, suppress it, profit by it, only to end up being addicted to it, afraid of it, ruled by it, made ill ill by it, killed by it, killed for it, defined by it, brutalized by it, deprived of it, used by it, enslaved by it, etc. Sexuality seems to trigger all sorts of emotions and thoughts. Some erotic and friendly, and then there are those really dark and distorted and intensely fucked up emotions and thoughts. 
So many of us become obsessed with chasing the next orgasm and the people we fuck or the many ways we fuck or get off in secret. Some of us avoid sex altogether for various and sundry reasons. Too complicated, too painful, too risky, too scary, too dirty, too messy, too awful, too much, too unfulfilling, too predictable, too boring, too costly. Then we judge and criticize others who love it, crave it, or don't want it, or can't get enough of it, or whatever. We obsess about size, the size of our breasts, the size of our butts, the size of our dicks, always asking, does size really matter? Is bigger really better? Sexier? Am I enough? Oi! What the actual fuck? It is no wonder our deepest, darkest wounding and our greatest medicine is embedded in our sexuality, which is akin to our cosmic creative energies that unify the divine masculine and divine feminine principles within both man and woman. Sexuality has been over, overlaid with and dominated by darkness, distortion, disinformation, guilt, negativity, repression, and shame by the powers that want to be. With the assistance of the twists and turns of history, religion, holy wars, and its many types of jihad, inquisitions, and sacred texts of old and new gender modification, psychological controls and models, and science and medical technology presently. Through our collective history, the reality and horror of blood ritual sacrifice, rape, torture, mutilation, murder, and genocide have been largely sanitized and downplayed as conspiracy theory fake news. Yet the tremendous fear and terror energetically generated throughout history from these egregious acts still continues to reverberate today. This collective and individualized trauma-based mind-controlled programming and wounding violates and separates us into two polarized psyops roles that require slave victim and master perpetrator Never mind the third party of the empathic witness who has underground, undergone the great inner work and has completed the hero, heroine's journey into the underworld and has emerged polarities integrated and now building a heart-based new humanity in this overworld with the understanding and the overstanding that the world is not the planet. Currently, Many of us are trapped in endless cycles of sexual abuse in these opposites, while some, depending upon circumstance, play both sides. The ongoing evil brutality and violence in sexuality and in our abusive yet normalized codependent dysfunctional relationships shatters our innocence and purity degrades us, man, woman, and child, into something less than human, let alone divine. The parasitic powers that want to be, a.k.a. the Archons or Nephilim, Anunnaki or global elite or the Geh or god-goddess eaters, as I've playfully nicknamed them, practice psychic vampirism by harvesting and feeding off these incredibly powerful creative energies, purposefully and systematically generated through terror, fear, pain, lust through all forms of pornography and sex clubs, rape, sex camps, pedophilia, now being the latest what-the-fuck moment for all of us appalled by the blatant pop cultured vanilla hip sexual preference, in quotes, that now is being claimed as a marginalized and victimized, discriminated against group, touting slogans like, pedos are people too. Oh my fucking God, are you real? In addition to the much rewarded divisiveness and hatred of other, which fuels and supports their agendas of global control of humanity's creative creativity and the planet's resources. Yet sexuality in its highest and purest expression of conscious lovemaking is the vehicle through which we are ushered to the brink of egoic annihilation into divine union and bliss on earth.
healing our sexuality and restoring it into its original divine realm is vital to the healing that is required of each of us to fully awaken spiritually and take back our creativity and sovereignty, thus cutting off the feeding frenzy and usurping of our divine creative nature and energies by these world controllers. We are remembering and reclaiming unity consciousness, which is the alignment of heart, mind, and body with our true divine natures. Thankfully, Each and every day, more and more of us are waking up and taking the courageous plunge into the murky abyss of our automated human conditioning and enslavement, risking everything we've ever known to remember and reclaim the depths of our divine nature as creators of reality. We allow enlightenment to illuminate our path of evolutionary growth, change, and expansion inviting the divine to live us. We are remembering who and what we are. We are the ground creators. We are the free energy source of the universe and the powers that want to be do not want us to remember these facts. I'm going to bring our time together to a close. Please bear in mind that next time I'm going to share some things that you can do to process to forgive and free yourselves of the emotional energetic morphogenic field traumatic influences of our ex-lovers the good the bad the ugly the beautiful because at the end of the day it's all on each and every one of us to get clear so That's my speech, my lovey doves. At the end of this video, you can click on the top left corner of the screen for my healing ritual video, Healing the Collective Historical Pain Body of the Feminine and Masculine. And on the bottom left and right of the screen will be my video links regarding daddy and mommy issues, respectively. So please check them out. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I thank you all so much for your participation. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, be the love that you are. Enjoy your love. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy your body. Here's to your love, truth, and beauty. Bye for now, my lovey dubs. Mwah!